Hey, what's happening YouTube? I'm Landon Dallasing and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos. It means the world to me. And if you guys like these videos, hit the like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 7,000 likes. Let's see if we can get featured on YouTube's homepage. We were so close with the last video. And if you guys missed the last part of this video, part three, because this is our new series on here, you guys can click right over here. We're gonna try to go as far as possible with the series. Let's see if we can catch up to Danny Burke with the dumbest tweets serious can we do it so let's not waste any time here let's get into this one this is the top 10 dumbest text messages part four so starting us off like we always do at number 10 with this one it starts off with this emoji oh geez little chocolate kiss with eyes watching over you lol it's a poop with eyes mom oh i thought it was a chocolate kiss lol <laughs> definitely a poop mama beer i am so sorry ha <laughs> and the mom's laughing lols and i mean is this real life right now this mom thought that that poop emoji was a chocolate kiss well that's for sure one thing it won't be eating anytime soon also i bet this mom is like ill why would there even be a poop emoji i guess it's just for when someone's having a shitty day number nine so i forgot my keys had to scale the wall to get onto the balcony. The balcony door was unlocked. We gotta lock it cause people could easily break in and steal Well, I'd like to see a thief scale down the wall with our TV. Good luck with that. They would just unlock the front door and walk out. Shut up. Okay, there's no way this was a real conversation. Let, let's try to understand this here very quickly. What, I mean, what just happened? This guy's brother thought that if someone scaled up their house and they get inside and they get a hold of like their TV, you know, maybe a 50 inch TV, they would have to scale back down the house because there would be no other way out. They could just go through the front door. Like you're already inside. Doors don't lock from the inside out. Have you ever been locked in something? Like you're, you're locked in your car? Number eight, hey man, is your phone turned? Turned off. Yep, damn. Text me when it's on. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> don't want to live on this planet anymore. And that was the whole conversation. I don't blame this guy. There's a lot of dum dums out there sometimes. His buddy has no idea what just happened. He may not be the sharpest tool in the shed. In fact, I know this guy's not. This guy just asked his friend if his phone's turned off and he did this through a text message. I mean, how did he send that text message? Was it through the microwave again? Just like we talked about in part three of this series. That was so funny. Someone thought you could text through a microwave. That's like a life hack that just doesn't exist. <laughs> Moving into number seven. Let's see what we have. Your great aunt just passed away. LOL. Why is that funny? It's not funny, David. What do you mean? Mom, LOL means laughing out loud. Oh my goodness. I sent that to everyone. I thought it meant lots of love. I have to call everyone back. Oh God. Well, that was really dumb and that, that really sucks. Now everyone in the family thinks that this mom is just the most insensitive person in the world and she doesn't even care about her aunt. Imagine someone just told you that someone in the family just passed away and then they just start laughing hysterically. It's like, what is there to laugh about? Like you're happy that this person died? Were you waiting for such a long time for this person to die and they did and now it's very funny? Well, this mom should have known what abbreviations she's using, what they actually mean instead of guessing. But this is a pretty big fail. LOL, lots of love. I mean, yeah, it makes sense, but you kind of just made that one up, mom. Go on the internet and search abbreviations and yeah, give everyone a phone call back and tell them you weren't laughing. Okay, so it's time for an autocorrection to catch a cheater at number six. Cheated on you. You what? WTF? Well, that's fine. Cause I cheated on you with your sister. Oh my gosh, checking up. I was checking up on you. It's over. Baby, wait, what? I love you. Well, that was very stupid. I think it's safe to say that Becca won't be replying to you anytime soon, buddy. I mean, an autocorrection mistake just caught this guy cheating. And why the heck do you have to cheat on your girlfriend with her sister? I'm not saying cheating is good, but if you could cheat on anyone else, Cheat on anyone else but her sister. That's like a double slap in the face, like a <laughs> Another cheater gets caught at number five. Hey babe, where are you right now? Oh, just getting ready for bed. I'm beat, I spent all day on college work, resting and texting now. Where are you? Well, here's where the text messages become interesting. This girl is so dumb, she gets caught cheating. Guess where her boyfriend is? Standing behind you at the bar. <laughs> Who's the guy you were making out with? We're over. The only thing this girl had to say was 
This is just such a dumb fail. She was trying to act all good, saying she's working on college work, she's so tired from it, it's been a long day, I had so much to do, but it seems like she already has a new boyfriend, so I guess it's no loss for her, but it just sucks for this guy to find out like this. Number four, my mom had twins. Oh my gosh, how many? Is this real life for now? Well, that was the whole text. I, I want to know what happened next. Like, there's too much suspense. There's too much cliffhanger on this one. How many kids are a part of twins? Like, uh, I, I, I think the mom just gave birth to two people. Two, two babies. That's like saying, my mom just had two babies. Oh my gosh, are they twins? Moving into number three. Hey, bro, you left your phone on my house. Dude, answer your phone. Hello? Bro, I need to tell you something important. It's about your phone. You left it here. Dude. It took me two hours to realize you can't text me back. This guy can't be for real. This made no sense at all. And this seems to be a pretty common thing. We have had many people on these lists realizing that they're not getting a text back from the person who left their phone at their house. And it takes them time to realize like why they can't text back. Texting the wrong person is now at number two. Things are about to get pretty steamy, but it's, it's about to go from like zero to 100 really quickly. I think I'm about to have my first lesbian experience of my life. Life. Excited, but nervous. Mom, what the f I did not mean to text you that. No sh I don't even want to know this. It's just an inside joke with Liz and me. Yeah, I bet. Did this mom just text her daughter saying that she wants to have a lesbian experience? And this mom is just so dumb. She could have gone away with this whole thing and just say, you know, sorry, that was just a joke text. She didn't have to say who the text was for because now she just told her daughter who she's having this lesbian experience with. She didn't have to bring Liz into this. She didn't have to throw Liz underneath the bus for this one. Let's just hope that this mom isn't married because that's when this situation gets a little bit weird. From a mom fail to now a dad fail, eh, you know, just to be fair. So at number one, we have saved the dumbest text message for last. So let's read this. Hey baby, annoying kids are out of the house. Fugly wife out of the house. You can come over whenever you want, Casey. And then a little winky face. Um, dad? Yeah. Hi, this is your daughter Karina, the annoying one. I'm so telling mom, Summer, that wasn't for you, name your price. You can either stop global warming or give me $2,500, a puppy and a new white Mustang GT. I kind of like how Karina is thinking. Is she really blackmailing her dad? I wish this conversation went on because again, this is a huge cliffhanger for me. I, I like when it gets into these moments. I want a conclusion on this one. But it, this got, yeah, this got pretty awkward fast. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. Let's see if we can get this video to over 7,000 likes. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.